fast boot versus recovery versus incremental rounds so that is the topic of discussion for the day and a fast boot rom a fast boot rom is something which needs to be flashed using a computer that's it plain and simple and of course you do need an unlocked bootloader except for some devices i think motorola allows you to flash signed that is official factory images using fast boot even with a locked bootloader i think i might be wrong so don't take my word for it anyways so a fast boot rom is something which needs to be flashed using a computer why is that that is because that is how it is designed then you have a recovery rom so a recovery rom is something which you can flash from your phone itself you do not need a computer to flash a recovery rom can you flash a recovery rom using a computer yes you can do that but then you're not using fast boot because you will boot into your recovery connect the phone to the computer and then side load it using adb adb is your android debugging bridge so it is used for debugging but yes you can flash a recovery rom using a computer using adb not fast boot so fast boot is designed to flash roms using a computer then you have incremental roms now what is a incremental rom or say what is an incremental rom let us say you are on miui 12.0 and to make it easier i'm just using a normal versioning system so you are on miui 12.0 and 12.1 comes out so xiaomi will provide you with an incremental update which is smaller in size but the basic requirement is you need to be on a specific version to go to the next one so 12.0 to 12.1 might be a small incremental update they will also roll out a full recovery rom as well now recovery rom will be used by those let us say you are on 11.5 and then you want to jump over to 12.1 that is when you will have to use the recovery rom you cannot use an incremental ota update to go from a version which is not compatible so 11.5 to 12.1 needs recovery full rom and then 12.0 to 12.1 can either use the full recovery rom or you can use the incremental update and it's not necessary that they are going to provide you 11.5 to 12.1 incremental update they generally do not do that they do it for one version back that's it so when 12.2 comes and you're on 12.1 you might get an incremental ota update to go from 12.1 to 12.2 12.0 to 12.2 might need to use the full recovery rom 